Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Tennessee Volunteers. Number five is as a senior leader that brings that much needed mature leadership. Hey Brad, true senior leadership is a rarity these days. But when a team has it, it makes a big difference out on the court. The Volunteers will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Volunteers are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Second of all, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. And lastly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And off the mark. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The center handles the pass. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Need to make that. Shooting guard receives the pass on the outside and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Puts it up. He gets that one to fall. Roll it back, fellas. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass we're going to move it around the perimeter and now they'll bring it up i'll tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on a box Momentary look from three-point land. Ten seconds to shoot. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Fed the low block, puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. around the perimeter. Knox receives the ball. The shot from the baseline. Buried it. Shooter spotting up on the three. There's the trap. This young man means so much to this team and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Inside, entry pass in the paint. 
Inside, way out on top, controlling the ball. Tries to get the D to bite. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Trying to pack it inside. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Looking for a good shot. McKinney handles the feed. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Shoots it. Oh, yes. Fields is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Red? He's getting it done. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. It's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Jump hook from the low block. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. They work the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Tries a three. He drains the shot. They're working around the perimeter. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. You can't forget about them. The winning rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Here's a double team. And the ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. And he scores it off the glass. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He'll regroup the offense. Stolen away. Up and inside. He's going nowhere. Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Pressure that basketball. Number 23 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Picks off the lazy pass. Shows patience waiting for the reset. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dump it inside. There's a double team waiting there. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. From the top of the key. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. The senior's going to take a trip to the line and get the basket, Dick. That senior determination in a big game, Brad.
at the line. He makes it. Look out. Defender nailed by a screen. He tries the three. He gets it to go. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He was out of position on that double. The wrong guy might have stepped up. Number 21 takes the pin and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block. They run it up into transition. Tries for two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. with a double team to stop it. The skip pass is picked off. Looking for a good shot. Picked off. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. For two, this team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Man, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. The Volunteers, according to the ESPN polls, among the top teams in the country, I'm certain that their opponents will be all over them in this game. When your team is not one of the top-ranked teams, you want to play against the best. You want to prove to everyone that you are just as good. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Both teams looking to get things going here. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Stolen away. Here they go into the break. He hammers it home. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Side of game so far, Dick. You've got to be prepared mentally and physically right from the start. You can't afford to give up these big early leads. For two, in and out. Looking for a good shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He makes a nice shot fake. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's a flash from the post up high. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good job defensively. There's a steal. Looking for the foul. He's money with the shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Perfectly executed. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. Two perfectly executed. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Post flashes for the ball handler. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open. Blocks it. it in with contact and all. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble. Gives it up. Fakes the shot. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Steal. Durham goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And off the mark. Goaltending violation. Knox. It's mediocre play. has really gotten to him. Brad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Working it around the perimeter. Stop and pop. Shots off the mark. Gave it up. 
He up fakes. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Sinks the shot. He looks for three. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Trying to draw some contact. Up, easy one. shot he intercepts it Dick they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block I tell you what a great job on a defensive player he's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot that spin move not successful Dick I tell you a great job on a defense not allowing him to make that turn all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play, you got a chance to really win. Steals the pass. Too physical. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. The working around the arc. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Opportunity for two for one. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two, perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. Up and inside. Here's a double team. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. At the end of the first half, the game Gamecocks are trailing by 26. Shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution. Paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Good fake. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your 
thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. On the inside, up fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Doesn't go. Kicks it out. The crowd loves this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. The kick out. Look at that spacing. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. team now, Matt Angle. Oh, what a strip, Red. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Unloads. Gets it to fall. That's worth another look. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. With the fake. Pump fakes. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gets it back out. He's got an open look for the shot. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and in. Fakes a jumper. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. 
I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The fans in the arena are going mad. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. Number 55 with the fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Gets it to go. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. <laughs> Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. What a great play. Check him out, Dick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Gamecocks will step to the line for the first time. He hits his first. And he got them both. Great shot block right there. Had some good movement on the offensive side. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 21. The bucket counts and one. Hey, great composure to take the foul and still get the shot off. Number 21 to the line for one. Routine. They've got a player spotting up on the three. One too many dribbles and a steal with authority. They are running right through this defense. The bombs are bursting, baby. Jumped in front to take it away. There should be an easy bucket here. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. That's a nine sip run. Picks off the pass. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. For the bucket. He drains the bucket. That's an 11 nothing run. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. This is unbelievable. The ceiling in this arena is about to pop right off. Welcome to Nutsville, Tennessee, baby. The Gamecocks are behind by 15. On the outside. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. From left of the circle.
And they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. Controlling the ball. And they get the turnover. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Let's see. With the block. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Launches the three. South Carolina have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, grow the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Now the turnaround jump. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Steals the pass. Long lead pass. Looking for a good shot. I can't hear myself think. This arena is deafening. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. From beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. And a momentary look from three-point land. He comes away with it. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to put eye, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. A whistle away and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. On the dribble, gives it up. They move it into the front court. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to bat it. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Intercepted. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do it. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement in that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crime. They will line him up. Free throw is good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And now there's a whistle and a foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Puts it up. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. 
Takes away the pass. Cross court. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Up and inside. Now working around the arc. They work it back to the outside. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They work the perimeter. On the outside. Got the shot if he wants it. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Great defense. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? With the free throw. Hits the first. Second one, no good. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. For two, drains the shot. The Gamecocks are on the sink, and emotionally, they can't seem to bring themselves up, Dick. Hey, they've got to pick themselves up. That's a sign of a good team. For three, Tennessee have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Nice high post screen. Goes up for two. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Should have basketball help one another communicate. He bombs from outside. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. The dribble gives it up and he'll kick it back outside. Up it inside. Takes the outside jumper. He buries it. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The fans in the arena are going mad. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee, baby. For two, perfectly executed. Entry pass in the paint. The fake. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? He intercepts it. Gave it up. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. 
Got the high pick from the baseline. Way off target and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And makes the shot. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. The dribble gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Picked off. Fake. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 23 is whistled for the foul. Second personal foul. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. High post flashes for the opportunity. Gave it up. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He launches a three. Questionable shot selection there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Push it up on the break and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. He shoots from long range. Goes. Play that back for me one time. baby hook I tell you great job protecting the basketball getting deep close position and the jump hook is so effective from the baseline they'll bring it out on top picked out of the air
Dick, we look back at our focus player, and he was the focus of the defense, I think, too, because he wasn't himself tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Tennessee simply blew this team away tonight. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.